what you'll find is like, okay, so I can't give you more advice in, on literally how to one mark something because it's never been a challenge for me. So I've never, what I can do is I can tell you how I three mark stuff and maybe you can apply that same, like the same techniques, I guess, to try to one mark stuff. What I find is that when I'm trying to three mark a tank, the biggest challenge is thinking, oh my, like, let's pretend you have a shitty game because shitty games happen. You start the game, immediately a Jagdpanzer E100 like snapshots you and you get clicked. So you're down to, I don't know, 300 health. You're basically a one shot for everyone. That happens, you know? The, the thing that makes it infinitely worse is if you think, oh my God, I have to three mark this thing, you know, like, or in your case, one mark. Um, that and, and then suddenly you start brooding or ruminating on the fact that like you know like you feel bad and you can't think about the game because you just lost 1500 hp or whatever in my opinion the way to avoid doing that is you have to think okay what do i do next to get damage instead of thinking oh shit i've lost all my hit points it's now going to be impossible for me to, for me to mark this thing you kind of have to think in the in the in the near future instead of like getting depressed over it like um, <laughs> someone's going to take that out of context and like consider it really politically incorrect but basically it's like my advice would be if you ever have a bad game where you because those will happen they happen to everyone the way to deal with that is to say like okay despite the fact that i just lost 95 percent of my hit points what can i do to make this a better game than it could be if i you know ruminated on the fact that i just lost all my hp that would be my advice i don't really know how else to put that into words um but that's that would be a piece of advice that I could give to you. Yeah, I get super salty, triggered, and toxic when I try to get marks on tanks. Right, it takes a lot of um, like mental control to do it. <laughs> that's the like okay. Here's a here's a perfect example. So we know that I'm trying to get like a reasonable DPG and and you know stats in this tank. Okay, if I was like really tryharding right now, I would be fucking pissed at the fact that we have an E5. A 907, a TVP, a 183, an E100, an E4, a mouse, and someone else all sniping. And then we have a 140 in one of the most useless positions that he could possibly think of. Like, no one plays there in a 140 unless it's like, like, who goes there? It takes creativity, you know, like, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons to be pissed at the team in this, in this game. But you don't, you shouldn't think of it like that. You should think, okay, well, these are the cards I've been dealt how can I make the most of it despite that? And so, you know, that, that totally changes the atmosphere of the way you like the way you think. I got no gold or tanks yesterday for my birthday. Unfollow. What? Yeah, that's a loss right there. Right. But I'm working on marking a tank and I care about my damage per game. Damage per game is like, who cares if it's a loss? Really? As long as I get my 4k damage. So how do I get 4k damage out of this? Well, I don't kill myself first off. That might be a good place to start. Spot for the shit barn? No, I have no interest in spotting for this guy. He just got hit for a thousand, so like a Jagdpanzer somehow hit him? That'd be kind of weird. One of the stupidest things in World of Tanks is when a guy in, in start of battle cries at bad teams. Meanwhile, he has a 44% win rate in tier 10. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's an interesting tactic, Flame. I've never, never considered that. The second I get spotted, I'm going to get shrekt, so we're going to run away. I thought that bat shot was a lot closer than he was. But this is probably the right thing to do right now. Yeah, this is absolutely the right thing to do right now. So, like, this is obviously extremely frustrating. <laughs> but if you're trying to mark something, you can't really let, you know, moronic t If If you rely on your retarded teammates to, like let you mark a tank you're never gonna mark a tank you know you still have to deal with them you can't let their play affect how you play in in a negative sense 
if your teammates are playing bad, doesn't give you an excuse to play badly. Is what I'm trying to say. Is this guy going to team kill me? Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you're in a position like I am, you have to watch for your teammates. Make sure they don't team kill you or something like that. Because it's very common. They'll be like, oh, it's jackass sniping Unicum 60 stat pattern and so on and so forth. So make sure they don't like hit you for a thousand. Like this guy's not looking at me, so I know he's not planning on team killing me. See if I can get the track. Maybe Artie will click him or some or prevent him from camping. This guy's running away. Artie goes for these guys and not the two six eight v four. That sucks. Right. Okay. So you see, first of all, I thought this was going to be a loss all game. I was really convinced that it would be a loss. Okay, just by falling back and not killing myself in like a fit of 12-year-old rage, the game has tied itself up. We're actually winning right now. So that's, you know... <laughs> uh, it's certainly not what I expected. Let's just put it that way. Change mark of excellence requirements from damage assisted to base XP and people will care about winning. Yeah, that's true. Actually winning, everything is possible and random. I know, right? How do I get more damage now? Right, because now's the damage farming phase of this game. Probably retaking the hill. It's the best thing. How to win in the curl current raffle stomp meta equals camp. I mean <laughs> Jeez, I did not expect that. Thing is, how do I get more damage out of this, right? I don't... Oh, thank God! Artie prevented me from camping. Jesus fucking... Artie shoots at hull down tanks. Okay. Why isn't the... I don't know why the T100 was unable to... Like, I'm not saying the T100 did badly, but I would have thought he would have spotted the 50B as he was clipping out into me. So that's some insight onto the 50B's position, I suppose. <laughs> Bit expensive for that insight, but oh well. Stop abusing your OP hold on Russian Twitter. <laughs> right? Okay, so we could still lose, and part of the problem with that is even though we're winning in score, a lot of our teammates are actually not doing anything, right? So we're actually like four tanks down right now, because of like, what's this guy doing, and so on and so forth. No, we have a lot of tanks that aren't accomplishing anything, so we're actually down it, in, in practice. We could still lose is what I'm trying to say if we go into this as a one, one by one, and that's really easy when you've got an E100, a Malice, a TVP, and an E4 who are all sitting behind you. I think one of the big things bad players don't do is run away if it is hopeless. Yep. I mean, in their mind, it's cowardice, right? But that's how bad players think, so... If if you have a problem with being a coward in a video game, maybe you shouldn't play video games. <laughs> Call me crazy. I don't think the 50 bs on this rock, because that would be a bit idiotic. Okay. Nice shot, dude. I need to make sure I can drive forwards away from him. Instead, he's trying to like reverse chase me. I'm okay with that. There we go. Now I just got to, oh, there's no clicker to worry about. Okay, that's a good thing. Got to load heat because I still need damage, right? Like, <laughs> if 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 this had been like a super shitty game, I would have been. If it had been like a loss where it was hopeless to get damage, I would have been triggered. I mean, I would have been happy with thirty four hundred. But in this case, there's opportunities to get more damage, so I'm loading heat to make sure that I get it. If that makes sense. I hope these TDs aren't drowning. If they are, that would be kind of depressing. Oh, fuck. I reacted really quickly to that, but... Uh, okay, I'm just gonna fully aim, because I think the TVP's in this area. 
Why is the TVP not sp Hey, I got the kill. Good enough, you know? Like, that was... <laughs> that was good enough. All things considered, that was an okay game. Team gets LT14 mission. Amex 50B is amazing tank. I can't believe Lemming Rush hates it. I think it's pretty garbage. Sarkon was in a game and breaking down the, the teams, and he went, the enemy team has a 50B, which automatically lowers their chance of winning. <laughs> That's actually so funny. So yeah, I came top on the team for damage, top on XP. Um, and it's almost certain that if I wasn't in that game, we would have probably lost it because I ended up defending against that entire zero line push. So um, that's my advice. Like that's an actual example of how I would suggest you three mark your or one mark your tank, dude. <laughs> I know, I don't know if you're still watching, but assuming you're still watching, like that's that's how because bad games happen that's how you deal with them more or less and that would be my try to try to implement that kind of thing so lt is top xp oh was i mistaken how much spotting did the lt get 